You ready to fight? You ready? All right, so this highly anticipated stand-up only event is now underway. Friendly reminder on the rules and hopefully you play by them. No grappling of any type. So if you like striking, this is the event for you. Also, fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor. This is a stand-up only event. Let's see how it plays out. Just missed with that right hand. Hook has been there all night. There's another one by Hooker. I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury. It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller, you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and use this tonight. That strike blocked by Hooker. Nice shot, lands downstairs. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Hooker. Oh my goodness, what a kick. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Nice crack there. Hook lands. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Oh, man! All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He, oh, he hurt with another hook. Back to his feet. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Green gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Big shot to the head. Oh, and he lands again. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, beautifully placed with that lead hook by Green. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Oh, nice punch there by Green. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we are, early round two. Great defensive skills. Oh, huge connection there. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. All right, he's been very clean with his hooks on the feet here tonight, and it's the way he set it up that has really impressed you. Yeah, it's very impressive to see him pop the jab, pop the right hand, just touch, 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 and then boom, sit down on that hook. He's going to be trying to find it again. You can see him. Oh, man, DC, he would appear to be in real trouble. Big left hand lands upstairs. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it. But clearly, both parties are hurt. Now he's backed up. He went high on that one. Another one! Well, 
Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you're both tough, both durable, both unwilling to take a step backward. What a phenomenal fight. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, oh he's wobbling now. Wow, what a fight. Oh. 